Woohoo, another update video. That's what you guys want, huh? I am being so productive. No, I'm not. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about. I didn't record a reaction to the Nintendo Direct. I forced myself to watch it at work while I was working because I for some reason thought that would be less of a hassle than just waiting till I get home so I could set up my webcam and record a reaction. Also because I was scared that I was going to get spoiled anyway, so what would be the point of waiting? But it was mainly the whole hassle thing. I'll get to the direct later. I am burned out. But Leo, how? You're not even working on universes right now. Oh no. I, I am. Even when I'm not, I am. You know when universes first started and then I took that break in March of 2017? That a couple week break and then I came back with the 70s show Battle Royale? I was still working on universes then, I was still writing and researching, I just wasn't making the actual episodes. And you know that summer long break I took where I was going to that vocational thing to help me get a job better? I was still researching and writing during that too. And you know the break when I was sick? Researching and writing. And you know the break after Goku vs Superman all the way until the Deadly Six vs Spectre and the Freaky Monkey Five? Yeah, I was still researching and writing. And you know what I've been doing since Jin vs Raven? You guessed it. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. I haven't been writing or researching. Do you know why? Because I don't have to. I'm already so far ahead that I could just pump out another batch of episodes whenever I want to. The truth about universes is, it's not hard to make. The entire editing process goes by in about a day. I record my lines in the morning, then paste them over the clips, yada yada, usually done by lunchtime. Then after that, I put the clips over the templates, the intro templates, the analysis templates, the results templates, all that stuff. And that's usually done in a couple hours. Then right after that, I go to putting the music and text over the analysis portions. And considering I usually have the prediction segments and next time trailers done beforehand, I can get an entire episode done before dinner. So, with how easy Universes is to produce, and how far ahead I am in writing and researching, how the heck am I still working on it? And how the heck am I burned out? Because I'm still always thinking about it, and thinking about it is working on it. The answer is, Universes became part of my schedule, and that's unhealthy and I should not be doing that. Believe it or not, Batman vs Snake was supposed to come out this month, maybe next week or something. But then my work schedule got flipped around, I got more days added, more hours added, and I was on different days and different hours, so I got all confused and flip-flopped with the rest of my daily schedule. And that included universes, I know I'd have to put it off until I got adjusted to my new schedule, and I couldn't work on any other videos with the thought that I could be making universes still sitting in my mind. And even when I do manage to muster up the motivation to make other videos, it's still always there. It's because people are only at my channel for universes. I mean, they say they'll support me or they're subscribed for me and not for universes, but that's not true. Every video that has nothing to do with universes barely scratches 100 views and always has a comment asking, when's the next universes episode? I have over 7,000 subscribers right now. You can't tell me people are here for me and not universes when non-universes videos perform that badly. Especially when even more effort is put into those videos than there is for universes. So if universes takes less effort and gets you more views, then why not do it? Because I don't want to do it. I know I brought up my 7,000 subscribers and how the non-universes videos are barely scratching 100 views, but it's not really about the numbers. It's that I get no feedback on those videos, I never hear about those videos. Universes invades those videos with do blank versus blank or when is blank versus blank coming out. It's not about the numbers, it's about you guys. I want to connect with you guys. I want a new audience. I don't want to be the versus guy anymore. I've been the versus guy since late 2015 with fictional fights. I want to make what you want and what you'll love, but I also want to make what I want and what I'll love. But most of all, I want to make what we want and we will love. So, I'll hear you out. If you're not here for just verses, then tell me what kind of other stuff you want to see. I am so tempted to delete these folders. Just go back and look at tons of my non universe stuff. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, tell me what you want to see more of, tell me what you want me to do that I haven't thought of doing yet. Just tell me something that isn't versus. No more blank versus blank. No more when is blank versus blank coming out. 
No more duo reaction to Death Battle Blink versus Blink because I don't care about Gundam or Optimus Prime or Daredevil or uh, Nightwing or uh, Lucy versus Carnage. Uh, no more versus. No more. No more. Nope, 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 nope. No more. No more. No more. Woo! So that's what it feels like to snap. Alright, alright, I'm calm now. Long story short, I'm tired of doing universes and thinking about universes, so help me not do universes or think about universes. I don't like going several days without having a video come out, but I can't think of videos to make when universes is clogging up my head, so please tell me something else. As for the Nintendo Direct, I thought it was very good. We got a new Luigi's Mansion game, a new Super Mario Bros. U bundle, which is basically a port of all the previous game, which is kind of disappointing, but hey, it's tons of content for a fair price, but hey, we're also getting Katamari Damacy on the Nintendo Switch, which is super duper cool. And also, Isabelle is being added to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which is super cool. I'm not a fan of Animal Crossing, nor have I ever played an Animal Crossing game before, but I'm super interested in getting to get the new game on the Nintendo Switch in 2019. But my best friend Joey in the whole wide world loves Isabelle and Animal Crossing, so I'm super duper happy for her. Everyone say hi, Joey, in the comments. That's right, I'm bringing it back. Hi, Joey, hi, Joey, hi, Joey. They did show off more about Super Mario Party and the Pokemon games, which I predicted in my prediction video, but overall, there's not much else to talk about. About from the Nintendo Direct. They didn't show Bayonetta 3 or Metroid Prime 4, so I don't know what else to say. In the end, though, it was a pretty decent Direct. Not one of the best, but still pretty decent. I liked it a lot. Anyways, see you guys next time. Leopold the Brave out.